Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Andre and welcome to another wine review from Rico. Today we are reviewing a red wine and it is a Cabernet, when I say we, I mean Rico. It's a taste of difference range from Sainsbury's, Cabernet, it's from the Central Valley. The grape originated in the Bordeaux region of France, the actual word Cabernet comes from the French carne. This is the a roast beef, sirloin off the bone. It's about two and a half kilos in weight. So we have a large edge here for when the potato puffs up as it roasts. I'm this gonna put some oil on them just now, put some salt and pepper on them, some, some of this fresh thyme, and I'm also gonna add maybe just a wee touch of the uh, syrup. Are you gonna make a gravy? Yes. I think we need some Yorkshire pudding. We need some Yorkshire puddings. Okay. Give Auntie Betty a call. Whisk the eggs. Over milk. Or one cup. Yep. Now adding 200 grams of sifted flour and mix. So that's the batter ready now. Just to make it easier to put into the trays, Rico's just putting it into a jug. So they are rising well. Not quite cooked, but oh my goodness, how good do they look? So we've plated and we're going to pour the wine. Good red colour. Let's just have a good red colour. Nice and deep. Loads of berries in the nose. Drinking red. Would you agree? Yes, but it's it's quite full. Cool. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andre, and welcome to another wine review from Rico. Today we are reviewing a red wine, and it is a Carmenet. When I say we, I mean Rico. And uh, he is also cooking up a nice roast for us today. So it's roast beef. But before we get on to all of that, I invite you to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Remember, we really do appreciate it when you hit that like button because it just encourages us to do more videos. So uh, I'm now going to pass over to Rico. I'm at the moment having a wee cheeky glass of Pinot Gris and uh, cheers. Well, hello again and thank you again for all your views and your comments. <coughs> Uh, as Andrew said, this week we're having roast beef for dinner and we are going to have a red wine for a change. This particular wine was purchased in a supermarket again. It's a taste of difference range from Sainsbury's, comes in at £9 a bottle, 13.5% alcohol, screw cap. And a little about the wine now. It's a Carmenere, I'll just show you the label. Carmenere, it's from the Central Valley list the winemaker here and the winery. Carmenere is in fact the grape variety also of this wine. It, the grape originated in the Bordeaux region of France and um, I would imagine, I'm not 100% sure, but I would imagine it became extinct during the crisis of the European vines when they got Phylloxera. And the Chileans have adopted it as their own variety widely planted in the central valley of Chile. It's the area of the, of the world where the grape is most planted is in that area. The actual word Carmenere comes from the French Carmine, which means crimson. And that the, the actual grape is quite dark. It's a dark purpley colour. It, it's also a member of the Cabernet. Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, etc. Okay, so that's about the wine until we get to taste it. So uh, now tell us what we're eating today, Rico. Now, what I'd like to add here is Rico quickly rushed the meat in, you know, before he showed us it at its raw state. But um, is, that, is it cooked now? 
Oh, is it going to, is it, have you got, just got it resting? Right, okay, so let's look at what we're having to eat today. We've cooked this piece of sirloin. It's about two and a half kilos in weight. And what I did to I basically seasoned it well, lots of salt and pepper, brushed it with oil, some dried thyme, some dried mixed herbs, heated the oil in the pan, down skin side, and you've seen it's I charred it slightly there. Turned it over, browned the meat all over, and then put it in the oven. Did and you I, add garlic? I know when I do a roast, I always... Yes, I did. I, I didn't add garlic. I brushed the meat with garlic. All right. Okay, okay. and you can actually, if you look here, that's the bits of garlic that I just threw mm. in with it after I brushed the meat I normally the kind of pierce it when yeah. I make it and then just stuff yeah. stuff, bits, yeah. just stuff cloves of yeah. garlic into yeah. the meat. So what veg are we having today? We're going to have some roasted carrots and parsnips, uh, some roast potatoes, which are cut and washed and if you notice the way I've cut these potatoes you've sliced them in I've the middle I've sliced them in the middle long way so we have a large edge here for when the potato puffs up as it roasts this is a very Greek way of roasting your potatoes sliced yep. that way and I've got some cauliflower and broccoli as well a lot of people sorry going back to potatoes a lot right. of people pre-boil their potatoes but we no, we don't no, no. We're going to, I've got some oil in this pan here I'm going to put the oil into the oven heat it up and then I'm going to add the potatoes into the oil and season them and... What are you going to season them with? Well, obviously salt and pepper and we'll put some nutmeg on them and just a wee touch of paprika as well. Okay. The sweetness of the paprika is quite nice. And potato. if I'm around, I'll probably throw a wee bit of cinnamon just on them. The potato variety is Amara's Piper. Okay, good British variety. See? I'm going, to put, I'm going to put some oil on them just now, put some salt and pepper on them, some, some of this fresh thyme, and I'm also going to add maybe just a wee touch of uh, syrup. Just for, the, for that, the sweetness. Okay, so that's today's dinner. Probably tomorrow's dinner as well. Okay. We actually prefer our veg in the oven rather than boiled. Right. Love roasted carrots and parsnips. Just some syrup going on to the veg now, to the carrots and parsnips. What do you think this is cooked at for me just now? Is it kind of medium or...? It'll be medium. Medium. Maybe because it's such a big bit, the centre part here might be a bit more medium rare. But Are you going to make a gravy? Yes. Just some pepper going on. So this bit of meat here, this sirloin yes. here, how much was this? £50. £50. So this piece of meat cost £50. Not cheap! Well, this sirloin. It's prime beef. So yeah. how many, what, did, what weight did you say that was? Two and a half kilos. So how many people, that would feed an awful lot of people, wouldn't it? I would say two and a half kilos, trying to think of it in pounds and then cutting it down to the steaks, but it's been roasted so it's shrunk a wee bit. Easy, eight people. Yeah. I think we need some Yorkshire puddings. We need some Yorkshire puddings. Okay. Give Auntie Bessie a call. This is a little addition to the video. So it is now Sunday and we decided to have Yorkshire puddings with today's dinner, which is yesterday's leftovers, which is the roast. You will have seen me asking for Yorkshire puddings yesterday, but um, Rico didn't make them, but he decided he would make them today. So here's the recipe for the Yorkshire puddings with and today's dinner. three ingredients we need. We need flour, 200 grams to 200 mils of milk, and four eggs. And some salt, I see salt there. I'm gonna add some salt. I might okay. even put a few dried herbs in it and amongst it just to give it a, another dimension. Okay, and you're gonna gonna need oil as well. I'm cooking oil, yeah. Just add in the eggs to the bowl now. So we have four whole eggs added to the bowl here. Whisk the eggs. We have the oven set at 190 degrees to heat the oil. Of milk. Or one cup. Yep. So once the eggs have been whisked, you just add your milk and then whisk again. Now adding 200 grams of sifted flour and mix. So what you're trying again here is a batter. It's smooth, no lumps of flour because we don't want any flour to show and we want it smooth. So that tells you it's correct? Yes. Because? It sticks to the spoon. 
no lumps. Okay. Just your salt. And add a wee touch of dried mixed herbs. So that's optional. Yep, just a wee bit. So we're just putting the batter now into a jug because it just makes it easier to pour into the trays. So that's the batter already. Mm -hmm. So you need an oil that takes high heat. So an so olive oil really wouldn't do the job here. Right, so just about a centimetre at the bottom of each one. That's plenty. Try and get this exact. So that's the tray's been filled with oil and now going into the oven at 190 degrees. A nice hot oven. Is the oil just out of the oven? Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Hot, hot, all right. Sizzling away. Okay, you're just using the spoon to stop it from you dripping. That, you could use a ladle if you wanted. So in the oven for 25 minutes. Okay, how amazing do these look? I don't even care how they taste. They look amazing. Homemade Yorkshire puddings, homemade bread, homemade veg, homemade roast. Right, just a quick taste. Perfect inside. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Rico has sliced the meat. And it is absolutely delicious. <laughs> it is tender. It is cooked to perfection. Let me show you. So it's just sliced it and it's, as you can see, medium to rare, Rico. Well, there's some bits that I don't know if it's on Yeah, these, these are kind of medium to rare. More medium to well. Just, it's absolutely oh the taste is just perfect we have the wine here which has been opened uh, to breathe so we'll be tasting that mm. i'm really looking forward to this in the oven i've just opened the oven just slightly like this potatoes oh steaming up maybe i shouldn't have so that's the potatoes just there the veg are there but we'll see them when they come out They've lily's also tasted haven't you lily Lily, you tasted it too, didn't you? Yeah, Lily approved. Mm -hmm. We both approved. That's the veg, that's the potatoes, the carrots, the parsnips. Rico's just now making a gravy. So that's just the stock from the sunline. Yes, and I separated the fat from it. Put it in the fridge, separated the fat. How did you separate the fat? I put it into a, a glass or a container and I put it in the fridge. The fat separates to the top. Right. Just skim okay. it off. So you just skim off the fat. Yep. So you're just going to add flour to that. Just, just a little flour. Just, just to thicken it. Yes, and we've got a wee bit of wine in it as well. Some of that harmony. Yeah. Just like Georgie has just arrived. Hiya. Hiya. Hi. 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 Just add in the flour now. I'll give you back in a minute, okay? Ow. So, we've plated and we're going to pour the wine for tasting. said we've had it open for a, a good hour now. Good red colour, as we said, a good red colour, nice and deep. Loads of berries in the nose. Beautiful velvety tannins when you taste it through the mouth. And a lovely smooth finish. A lovely wine and I think it will go very well with this, this roast beef dinner. We'll just have a, a wee taste. I've kept uh, the pieces that are sort of the rarer 
out of the meat for myself. Mmm. Delicious. Cheers. Yeah, definitely velvety. Very smooth. I would just quite an easy drinking red. Would you agree? Yes, but it's it's quite full bodied. When you taste it, when you let it go down, it's full bodied, you get the tannins around your mouth, you feel those those flavours. This is very nice. And I already know this is delicious because I've already tasted it, but Got some gravy now, swim. So, um, mm. Oh my goodness! Absolutely delicious. So we're gonna enjoy and entertain our granddaughter now. So, um, cheers, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.